Hey guys, and welcome back to our Southwest Australian road trip. If you've only just tuned in, this is actually our third and final video here. So if you're planning a trip around the Southwest of Australia, definitely go check out the other two videos. But we have had the most amazing time from swimming in natural spas to hanging out with stingrays. Oh, wow. Driving through the middle of nowhere. It has been such an epic week. So this morning we woke up bright and early in Esperance and we went out to this little cafe and had some of the best coffee you can get in the town. From there we went and picked up some supplies, jumped in our van, because today begins our big day of seeing some of the best beaches in Australia. So when we told you guys that there would be no one around, we weren't lying. We had currently come to our first beach and there is no one in sight. It's called Wiley Bay and the sand is just as white as what we'd imagined. And what's really unique about this place is it's amazing for four-wheel driving. We actually just saw a four-wheel drive. Driving up these really steep rocks overlooking the ocean looked amazing. And this place has a little, kind of like a sand bank where you can walk along it and then you have two parts of the ocean coming up next to you. It is super unique. Screens were set to dark when we met eyes. We saw beyond the questions that I haven't asked you yet. You know, these days it's hard to find an answer. Okay, so we've now headed out to Cape Le Grand National Park. I've always wanted to come here and I cannot believe we're finally, finally here. But we have a couple of tips for you. Number one is that if you want to camp in this national park, you need to book ahead online. Otherwise, you won't have a campsite. And trust me, you are going to want to camp at Lucky Bay. We'll show you later. Ooh. Yes, to come into the national park, it costs $15 for your vehicle and that'll last you the two days. And then to stay here the night for two people, it's $15 each. So it's around $45 and it means we can camp here, which... I'm so excited about and when you do come into the national park there are three bays that you need to check out the first one is hellfire bay where we are now so we're just having some lunch and then we're gonna go ahead and check it out and then there's thistle cove and then the very famous lucky bay So if you wanna dance, then dance away. If you wanna shake, let's shake it, baby. If you wanna dance, then dance away with me. If you wanna run, we'll run away. Tell me where to go, I'll chase you, baby. If you wanna dance, then dance away with me. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I can't believe we are currently swimming at one of the most beautiful beaches that we've ever been to, and there is no one here. Seriously guys, what an epic beach to come and hang out at. This is, these colours you cannot describe, they are so beautiful, it's like the perfect aqua. Steve and I call these beaches squeaky beaches and I'll show you why. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Can you hear the squeaking? <laughs> These beaches are so clean, they squeak when you walk on them. So we've just pulled up to our campsite. We're staying at the Lucky Bay campsite. And this has got to be one of the most beautiful spots we've pulled up to. You can see Lucky Bay just in the background there. And to our surprise, there's actually hot showers, toilets, cooking facilities. This is gonna be the perfect spot to camp for the night. I don't see the substance of dwells in me Cause my natural lies on the ghost skin deep But the eyes of my heart anchor is Plumbing the depths to the place in between The tangible world and the land of a dream Because everything here ain't quite what it seems I'm just about to cook up some breakfast But look at the view we've woken up to Right down there That's Lucky Bay I cannot get over this view 
So what makes Lucky Bay so famous and probably what makes Esperance so famous is that on this beach there are some resident kangaroos that like to hop about, do some sunbathing and you can, they're pretty friendly, you can go up to them. But just a month ago there was actually a bushfire right across the dunes and we've seen a few kangaroos poking their head up but I think because all their food and vegetation has been kind of destroyed they aren't going onto the beaches. So I'll show you some pictures of how incredible this place looks when the kangaroos are actually on the beach. And I'm guessing this gives us an excuse to come back with our little girl. Hope you guys enjoyed those insanely beautiful beaches in Esperance. We literally just spent all day relaxing at the beach. But the road trip does continue and I'm taking Jess basically to the middle of nowhere. Two hours ahead all be explained. It's kind of surreal 20 years later and just seen in one sign every single city you've lived in in Australia. Oh, Norseman, Albany and Perth. Be what you want me to give me something middle of nowhere. This is Norseman and I used to live here for two years of my life. This was my very first taste of Australia. All those stereotypical movies you see of Crocodile Dundee in the middle of nowhere, outhouses, dunnies. Yep, we were living the stereotype out here in the outback. Wow. Here it is, my old house. This is where we lived for two whole years. I don't remember having a birthday party just here. Wow, it almost feels surreal being out front of your house 20 years later. This is the first place that we lived in when we came to Australia. Wow. I wanted to see what it looked like inside because I saw it was up for sale and they want in bargain of $75,000 for my old house. It's crazy, I remember just here at the window, they had Pokemon Season 1 on VHS. This is really going to show my age. Back in the day before DVD, you'd have to rent your TV shows on VHSs and they could fit a maximum of three episodes. And that was your $7 weekly rental. So you would re-watch those three episodes so many times, but it is crazy to be here. Completely shut down. This town, so many stores are closed. There's like nobody here. Obviously the heyday of this town. It's way long gone. It's kind of cool. They've collected all the old signs. This town is very old, over a hundred years. And these are the signs through the days of the businesses that have come and closed. It's actually crazy when you come back here 20 years later because when you're a kid you just you don't realize things and wow i think i'm really appreciative of what my parents did selling everything in south africa to come here middle of nowhere nothing to do here to live here for two years just so we could get into australia wow all right better fill up because i don't think we're going to see another town for four more hours if you can tell by my kilometers later we've definitely said goodbye to the beach and we've now arrived in the bush we were basically in the middle of nowhere and the reason people come here is because of a rock shaped as a wave it's called wave rock <laughs> and we can basically walk to it that's how close we are so we've parked up for the night the sun's about to set but I think in the morning we're gonna wake up bright and early and go and see this famous rock seriously guys look at all the bugs that have said Hello to us on the drive. Okay, 
cannot believe it. Tonight is the last night. Tomorrow when we drive back to Perth, we'll officially be in Perth until the little one comes. This is like the last trip. The last hurrah. Yeah. We're in the middle of the Aussie Outback. In the middle of nowhere. Next to a big famous rock. And above 1,000 flies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Every time you try to hide your thoughts. Good morning, guys. What are you doing out here and not on Lucky Bay? Guys, when you come to Australia, we do need to warn you that you may get attacked by flies. Oh my goodness, look how many flies are on Stephen right now. Look how many flies are on Stephen right now. You do need to be prepared for all the flies. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is our final day and I told you we would be waking up next to a um, a rock that looks like a massive wave. I've always wanted to see this place and we've lived in WA for over 20 years but it's just been in that little awkward position where unless you're driving through like we are, it's like four hours from Perth, four hours from Esperance so doing it in a day would be tough but if you just like drive like you're doing the road trip we're doing, highly suggest stopping off here because... And the campsite's awesome. It's really, really nice, but I don't know, I just thought this would be a cool way to end the trip, especially because I actually haven't taken any like maternity photos since I've been in my, like I'm almost 31 weeks now. Yeah. And so we just took a couple of maternity photos, which was fun. It has to be done. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh my goodness, There's so the many flies. flies. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this 10 day road trip. Let us know what was your favorite part, whether it was us down in Margaret River, Esperance, I look so up much here. taller than you. Yeah, let me come this side. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> but our very next video, we have something exciting to tell you guys. Very exciting. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and let us know if you want to see more Australia vlogs. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.